All right, now we're going to take the basic bare bone structure of what it is we just recorded, uh, the, the finger drumming part, uh, drums, I mean, the step sequence drum part, uh, what else did we record? We recorded a chord progression, a simple melody, and a bass line. So we have five elements. We have five tracks. And now we're going to switch this up again, the purpose of this 8x8 eight eight matrix. And now it's going, we're, it's going to serve the purpose of arranging. How do we get there? Very simple. Over here next to the note button, which is the, uh, the page we're in now, so to speak, when we push this button, session button, then you will see a reflection on your push of what we see on the screen right here. So here you can see on track one, we have uh, five or actually six in all different drum patterns. On track one, uh, sorry, track two, this is the step sequence beat we have. Then up here is the uh, chord progression we have and the melody we have is here and the bass we have here. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to rename the files. So I click on track one and I'm going to press Apple key R, which is most likely control R on the PC. And I'm going to write um, finger drumming part. And then I'm going to call the second track um, step sequence and if I push the tab key I'll move over to the next track I'm going to call this chords and then I'm going to push the tab key again just write melody and then push the tab key again and just write bass so it's still if you look at the arrangement right now it, it really doesn't say much there's all of these sort of uh, light blue buttons and one green button um, and the track colors aren't very differentiated. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go in and uh, change up the track colors. So let's um, color our drum parts. Uh, we'll color them, let's color them green. So what, what I do is I hold the shift button and now I click the track button. This is the first track and what did I say green? Let's take that green. I'm going to do the same here. So now, as you can see up here on the screen, the tracks for the drum parts are green. And now let's leave the chord parts blue and we'll color the bass part yellow. So the bass is over here. Shift, push the button under there and hit that yellow button. So now we've already differentiated the colors of the tracks, which is nice to help us know where we are. And let's color these drum parts green as well. So remember, we just hit shift, hit that, and we'll do that for all of these. 